right, so here is the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. It wasn't all that long ago that he beat Alexander Volkov, had won nine of 10, and earned a title shot against you in New York City. Derek Lewis back on the ground here tonight. Derek Lewis is a beast and one of the strongest guys that I have ever felt inside of the octagon. Every time his punches land, you can feel this unbelievable thud up against your head, in the body, in everything he does, it is just absolute power. He's a very, very good athlete, as he shows with these double kicks that he always likes to throw up. Derek Lewis, when you win nine out of 10 fights, you're a monster. And he is on paper one of the more prolific knockout artists this division historically has ever seen. The Black Beast, ready to get back to it here tonight. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has graced the octagon yet again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight Champion of the World, John Bones Jones! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Let's do it. So here is John Jones with his reach approaching 85 inches, a difficult proposition for any opposition. Jones here immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see how he approaches the early moments in this one. Well, John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Mike Winklejohn is always fond of saying you don't see 30% of what Johnny Bones is able to do in the gym. And with every passing fight, he's going to show you new wrinkles, new weapons in that arsenal. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' call upon. Jones is in half court. Great job finding his shots from the top position. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Inside the 
closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the back? Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Keep that pressure high now. There's that kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you get the night, that's going to land it right on the spot. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Jones gets the double leg takedown now. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Now he's got good body position, yup. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. That was a slick transition. Jones is back in full mount. Making all these shots count. Trim, trim, trim. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Right, let's go. Work those hits. Let's go. This is where he wants to be. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. So some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the front, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Oh, I like that kick there. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. some of those strikes from the top. Jones is in half guard now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And another, another strike from the top lands for him. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take minutes of those kicks. Jones's forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Ten seconds to go in the round. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Heading back to the corner now. Jones has got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. All right, we will now re-rack some of the highlights for you from that previous round. We'll try to find the shot that caused the cut above his eye that is now leaking significantly down and compromising his vision. Yep, there it is. The one that landed that really opened him up. That cut is in a bad spot. Yeah. Too, right over the eye. So that blood starts to leak down. It starts to really impair the vision. To it's going to be on his opponent to try and circle away from the power while not going in circle away from the power to allow for himself to have a chance to still win this fight. Yeah, still play. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. 
the hook. Significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, man, that kick looks like it hurt. Left hook to the hook. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Unable to land with that punch. And that's how you defend the double leg, ladies and gentlemen. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that television connection by him there, he needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice. Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. A big left hand lands upstairs. Spinning back fist. Takedown defense is there. Jones is head kick. No damage there. Man! Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, what an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the top of the And now he's got him hurt very badly. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Signs of bruising now on that left thigh. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. yeah. Spinning back elbow right to the head. Unable to land on the uppercut there, but. Now starting to use that reach advantage. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the elbow. Get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Seconds winding down in round two. Great job. This will fight this round. Take down the win. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. 
he got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did the previous... Oh! Oh, he is stunned, trying to recover here. Jones is limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Oh, great block there. Big knee lands there. There it is again. Shots here. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. Now he's going full mount. Nice shots landing from the top position. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, that looks tight. Ooh, strong grip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. Oh, it looked pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pop. A lot of to top scramble. pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Oh, good ground and pound here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, yeah, he's got him to sit tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm, was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows huh? what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. If I don't pay, then why are you paying me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take you over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I would try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. Right, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. Lewis, his time starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Right now they're separating. Oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and get the fight. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, inside kick. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. He's got to start going down. The 
the Black Beast gets back up again. 20 seconds left. Big power shot there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, he's got the single power locked in the clinch now. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. in the books, we are headed to the championship rounds. Well, the crowd's appreciating the action here. Both fighters getting knocked down in that round, and when you're talking about bonus money in a fight of the night, oftentimes you need that back and forth action. We certainly had it in that round. It takes two to tango, and these two just danced all over the octagon floor. On their back, on their feet, they did a fantastic job of giving the fans a great show through this round. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Let's go. I want you to kick hard for that leg. Jones gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. He passes the half. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Another strike gets through from the top position. Nice shot lands from the bottom. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Jones is taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Well, he misses with the left punch there. for the takedown here. Watch, right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Oh, he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chief. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. Lewis's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Mm, nice. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. The Black Beast gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Great body kick there. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are the Full side control now. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory.
We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. All right, so the celebration is on, not just here, but in Houston, Texas, and beyond for that man, Derek Lewis. And few heavyweights have